a shave with Chella Shave Soap, and courtesy of viewer Joseph Shamas, we're going to finish it off with Chella Aftershave, coming up next. Hi, YouTubers and watch shavers everywhere. It's MarkWithGeorgeTune.com. I'm back in another video. Hey, we're having a shave with Chella. Chella with that great almond cherry scent. Chella Red, it's sometimes called. We're building a lather right now in my fine lathering bowl. I'm using my Phoenix Shaving Star Wisp shaving brush. We are almost there. I've already done the preliminaries. A nice hot towel from the hot towel cabinet, thanks to Jamie Horn. Also did a pre-shave, pre-wash, or pre-shave wash with the Cube 2.0, and I've applied Parasso pre-shave to my face right here. So we're really kind of off to the races because I want to show you the Chella aftershave that was very kindly sent to the channel by viewer Joseph Shamas. Thank you very much, Joseph. Really do appreciate it. We're just about there. Look at this, huh? <laughs> Check that out already. Boom! Lather already right off the bat. My gosh, this Chella Red makes an absolutely awesome, awesome lather. Look at that. My gosh, we're just going to go ahead and paint that on. We are ready to go. My goodness. Oh, man, that is some really, really nice lather. My gosh, that is fantastic. Anyhow, the highlight of this video review is going to be the splash, the aftershave, uh, splash, aftershave lotion, as they call it. Give you an idea of its scent, its performance, uh, which is why we're kind of cutting to the chase with the with today's shave. Kind of getting all the preliminaries out of the way and going right to lathering up and getting to the shave so we can get right to that aftershave splash. It really is a terrific, terrific scent. It has a nice light citrus lemon kind of scent. It is uh, not overbearing. It's not overpowering. It's perfect for any kind of uh, work environment. So uh, if someone gets close to you, then you're not going to hit them over the head with it. That's for sure. Look how much lather we have here. Absolutely fantastic. Wow. Absolutely great. My blade is uh, already loaded. We are using the Gillette Wilkinson Sore Blade that is made in India. Boy, these are great. Thanks to Sheldon Quinn for introducing me to these. That's uh, absolutely fantastic. And we're using the Yaki DeLorean Razor. This is a Yaki tile razor head on a bolt handle. Now, it's called the DeLorean according to Mr. G Shaves. And uh, that's where I got that from. So thanks to Mr. G Shaves for the name of this razor with the tile razor head and the bolt handle. It's called the DeLorean from what I understand. So we're already loaded up. We're going to heat it up under some hot, hot, hot water. And we're going to get to this shave. I have one day's worth of beard growth, so I'm anticipating I'm anticipating two passes. Oh, that's perfect. All right. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. That is nice and smooth. That is really, really nice and smooth. And of course, the angled head helps you fill, find the angle, the correct shaving angle. See that right there? Much like the Henson razor. So if you're off just a little bit, you can find that angle. You'll, it'll just, it'll just naturally come to you. Boy, that's. Well, it's a smooth razor. My thanks to viewer Alex Lopez for sending this. This really is a terrific, terrific razor. It really is great. Alex, thank you very much. Man, that's smooth. My gosh. I credit the Chella Shave Soap. Boy, is that lather a treat. 
I mean, doing bowl lathering has just convinced me that that's, that's the way to go. Chella just lathered beautifully in this uh, fine lather bowl. It's absolutely fantastic. That's, boy, that's marvelous. I forgot how good this shave soap is. You know, a very, very slim profile to this razor head, as you can see. End tabs are enclosed in the razor head. And boy, that got like everything. <laughs> That guy, I mean, I might have to do a little cleanup, but boy, if you're a one-pass shaver and you need to get up underneath the nostrils, this is the razor. <laughs> That's fantastic. All right, first pass done. Let's rinse. All right, I'm right there. It's socially, socially acceptable. We can uh, lather up for a second pass here. I have just the right amount of water on my face to kind of take care of this lather if it seemed to maybe uh, sit and stiffen up a little bit. I don't think it has, really. I mean, look at that. That's marvelous. But if it did, uh, that little bit of water would help. Of course, you can always agitate in the bowl and thicken it up a little bit if you wanted to. I don't. What I'm saying is I don't have the need to do that. And the water really hasn't thinned it out that great. It's a nice, rich, creamy, yogurty consistency for the first pass and the second pass. Very, very good, and that almond cherry scent is just delightful. I mean, you can use it year-round on a lot of them. A lot of wet shavers talk about how it reminds them of Christmas cookies and Christmas, that sort of thing. But really, you can you can use it year-round. It is a fantastic, fantastic shave soap. What a great... And this Cello Red is tallow-based, unlike the Cella Green which is uh, non-tallow. So the uh, cello red is tallow. Cello green is non-tallow. Tallow, non-tallow, just so you know. All right, we're going to go ahead with uh, pass number two. We're going to go east to west across the grain. I'm just checking the head. Everything is nice and snug. I do have an O-ring in the handle here uh, between the uh, base plate and the, uh, the handle. All right, pass number two, east to west across the grain. That's mar that's a that's a marvelous razor. It's a marvelous shave pass. I will link to this below to this razor head and to the handle. This is really, really marvelous. Boy, I like this. Boy, I like this razor. And the handle, just uh, the handle, has some uh, nice, I guess you could say some nice ringlets, so to speak, cut into the handle here. really affords a nice grip. They're tightly spaced, so you get a really nice grip. No tugging or pulling on the upper lip at all. And uh, it appears I can get up there quite nicely to get rid of any little bits that are underneath the nostril there.
That's terrific. <laughs> That's great. That really is. Second pass done. Let's rinse. Well, this shave is done. I'm going to go ahead and um, empty the sink here. But for my uh, for my cleanup pass, instead of a warm water rinse, I'm going to get one of these thin hot towels here and rinse my do my warm water rinse with this nice hot towel. I did this the other day, and boy, did this work well. Oh my gosh! Look at that. It just cleaned my face up so very nicely, and I get to. Uh, talk to you while on camera. Man, man, that's great. Now we will flip it to the cold water side and I'm going to give my uh, face a couple of uh, splashes of cold water. Now this nice hot towel, thank you again Jamie Horn, this nice hot towel has really kind of reinvigorated my face, especially with the uh, Parasso and the Chella shave soap that I've removed, there's still some remnant there. Boy, was this great. This really, really brought out that menthol from the Cube and the Parasso and uh, the shave soap, uh, Chella shave soap. Wow, that's great. This cold water rinse is going to be fabulous. All right, cold water rinse. Very invigorating. Very, very nice. All right, clean, fresh towel. Waiting for me right here. These towels that I bought from uh, on Amazon, these are the uh, Diane From. Diane From. From, yeah. Diane. Diane From. Right there. I'll show you the tag again. Diane From. They are thin. But they're very absorbent. They're very economical. You get about a dozen of them for about 18, 18 bucks or so. And they really work well. So you can kind of just go through these one after another and then launder the whole lot. And then you're back in business. Really, really terrific. So I like I like these. I'm using them in the hot towel, in the hot towel cabinet, thin, and also the thicker towel here. Okay, this is what I used. This is what I kicked off to uh, for a hot towel before my shave right here, the thicker towel. That retains a little more heat. But uh, this was this was great to you know post shave. That was great to clean up. Really nice. All right, uh, here is the Allen Block from Phoenix Shaving, no slip grip, tri dock system. Here we go. Oh, that's nice. That's true. No stinging, no zinging at all. That's a terrific. <laughs> that's a terrific shave. That really is. There's the dry dock there. There's the Allen block, the no slip grip. But the air in the room do the rest of the work in uh, drying out that Allen block. We're gonna skip the witch hazel. Uh, I want to go directly to the ocean because that's what we're talking about. So here is let the Allen set up a little bit. Here is the, because uh, I don't want the witch hazel to get in the way of the lotion. I'm, I'm already familiar with the alum and that sort of thing, and that'll, that'll kind of set up the skin, and I'll have more of a, more of a uh, bare canvas, so to speak, to kind of gauge the, uh, the lotion. But look, look at the, look at the, here, look at the, look at the, look at that, look at that, look at that. Wow! <laughs> Chella, man! That is, that's great. I'll have to look at my videos to see how Chella performed with a face lather. But boy, this bowl lather, this is a great way to go. The fine lather bowl, I wanted to use it again with the Star Wisp brush from Phoenix Shaving. Did a great job. Uh, that brush did a great job in that lathering bowl. And uh, we're going to use Chella again. I'm going to use the Starry Night Bowl and the Paul Gruner uh, lathering bowl. Thanks, Beth. Thanks, Jimmy. Uh, fantastic. Okay, now, the moment of truth. Here it is, Chella. The aftershave splash right here. This comes in a beautiful, beautiful box. Let me get the box for you. How about that? Thanks again to viewer Joseph Shamas. Really do appreciate it. It comes in a terrific, terrific box. And it's a glass bottle. And, of course, the really a nice box. If you've gotten any of the Phoenix Shaving aftershaves, this is a similar box uh, that you see with those. And, of course, you have... 
uh, cello information here in English and also in Italian. I will uh, get a screenshot of that and uh, display it on screen so you can read it if you'd like to. Uh, a true story of when the barbers was a place in which to enjoy a moment of pleasure and well-being. The story of cello opened in the heart of Milan. Uh, the, yeah, opened in the heart of Milan, soon becoming a point of reference for style in the Italian world. An Italian word of shaving. I think it loses a little bit in the translation. Uh, I think they're, they, um, I want to say maybe world of shaving and also um, the story of Chella opens, not opened. I think, <laughs> perhaps, I'm not entirely sure, but uh, be that as it may, you get the point. So it's really nice packaging. If you were to give this as a gift, boy, that's terrific. And it, and it would look great with uh, uh, right here. To, uh, you know, you get the shave soap, you get the aftershave. Man, that would be a great, great gift. Absolutely fantastic. Let's set that aside there like that. And let's get to splashing this on. Again, this is nothing like uh, the uh, almond and cherry scented shave soap. It is, uh, it's a kind of scent that will go with any, any shave soap at all. It has that, it, there is a nice citrus lemon kind of scent there. It is very light. And uh, I'm going to put some on there like that and splash that on. It's low alcohol, from what I understand. I was checking the product page information. If that's incorrect, I'll correct it on the screen. But boy, there's some nice moisturizing qualities there. A really, really terrific scent. The uh, the moisturizing qualities, uh, really very, very good. So much so, I'm going to put a little bit on my head here. I'm not going to use a balm up there. I'm going to put this up there. That's terrific. That has some really nice qualities. Maybe a little more up there. Now, if I want, I could get a Mysterium serum and kind of mix that in, get a scented balm, that kind of thing. You know what? Let's do that. Here we go. We're going to get a little bit of a Mysterium serum here, like that. And I'm going to put a little bit of this in there because the Mysterium serum is fragrance free so yeah so there is some there is some moisturizing qualities there but not as much as a balm that's why I'm going with a balm here but boy that's a nice light scent terrific scent light not overpowering not overbearing great great shave wow this is a terrific terrific aftershave lotion I like it a lot and while it does have some nice uh, uh, nice moisturizing qualities, not as much as you would get in a balm, but definitely more so than in some of the traditional aftershaves you might be using, which are really heavy in alcohol. This is lighter in alcohol from what I understand, but it does have some really, really nice skin food ingredients. And I'll put that on the screen below so you can read it for yourself because they mentioned that on the product page on uh, their Amazon product page. Really, a lot of nice skin food ingredients, a nice, lively lemon citrus scent, uh, not overbearing, uh, really agreeable, will go with any shave soap. For instance, it goes, it goes well as a follow-up to Chella Red, and it will also go very well with the uh, Chella uh, Green, the non -tala. Uh This, you know, the, these two scents are very, very different, the red and the green. Very, very different. Uh, they both have great lathering performance. But this aftershave will complement both of them. And a lot of other shave soaps. Think uh, Tabak. Think uh, even the Parasso White. Parasso Green. Uh, a lot of different shave soaps out there. Any of the barbershop scents that you might have will go. This will follow up very, very well with those. So this is absolutely terrific. Again, my sincere thanks to viewer Joseph Shamas for sending this along. Thank you very, very much, Joseph. I really, really do appreciate it. And that's it. All right, thanks for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so it'll give me all the next time I upload a video. Comment below. 
Let me know. Check out all the wonderful artists and soap makers and sellers that you see displayed on the bottom of the screen right now. They make and offer some wonderful artists and shave soap. They also offer some wonderful wet shaving gear to enhance your traditional wet shave. The next time you're online, please take a moment, pay them a visit. I sure would appreciate it. Thank you very much. Also, check out my Amazon product page at Amazon.com slash shop slash Mark Zerady where you'll find all the Amazon listed products that I review on this channel, organized and categorized so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.